Hey guys, another video for our English Friendly Japan playlist. This will be the first time we've put a whole city on this playlist. Usually it's businesses and organisations that we find are English friendly, we put them on here. This time it's a whole city. We went and spent some time in Yokohama City, which is not far from Tokyo. And we were blown away at the English level here. We would suggest that Yokohama is the most English friendly city that we've ever visited in Japan. And we would suggest that it's even more English friendly than Tokyo. Because it's quite common in Tokyo to stay in a top level hotel and find that none of the staff can speak English. It's quite common to visit the best restaurants and travel around in taxis and things and not encounter any staff anywhere who can speak English in Tokyo. So it depends. There's people, of course, who can, but, but we find generally Tokyo is not terribly English friendly. Whereas Yokohama rocked our world. It was absolutely incredible. Uh, signs and menus and things all over the place in English. And the people were absolutely incredible. It, literally everyone we encountered spoke some English. And usually what we'd do is we'd start by speaking Japanese to them and they'd often come back in response with some English. And that was the hotel staff. Everyone in the hotel, we went to the Intercontinental Hotel, which is a pretty nice hotel, and everybody we spoke to spoke English. Everybody. The concierge, the young guys downstairs at the entrance, the everybody, the, the reception staff, everybody in the hotel we, we spoke to spoke English and spoke it to a really good level. And the people in the restaurants we went to spoke English. The taxi driver spoke English would be the first taxi driver that we've ever encountered in Japan that spoke English. Not to a terribly high level, but he did speak it. So just amazing. Now we'd suggest that this is probably because Yokohama has had foreigners visiting here and, and living here for the last 140 years. So since Japan opened its doors to foreigners again, beginning of the Meiji period, there's been foreigners in Yokohama and there still is a lot of foreigners here for various reasons. There's a lot of American military, there's a lot of business people, there's a big international convention center here so there's a lot of foreign visitors here. There's an international port here where cruise ships dock and lots of foreigners come ashore, thousands of foreigners come ashore. So in response to that, the businesses have reacted to it by making their businesses more English friendly. So we've got English friendly menus and things. And the staff tell us, we asked a few staff, how come your English is so good? Where did you learn English? Because usually in Japan, if you encounter someone whose English is good, it's usually because They've studied it outside the school system because the school system fails them. And they've studied it outside the school system and possibly lived in another country for a couple of years and that's in, helped them get their English level up. But what we found here was that these people just said, oh, I just learned it at high school. But the difference is that these people get to talk to foreigners every day. So they get to practice their English every day, which is something that they don't get at, at, at school, in the school system, of course. So the end result is that everybody that we spoke to spoke English reasonably well, or if not very well. Some of them spoke English extremely well, and it made it just a really easy experience. So the reason, again, we just want to repeat this again, because on these sort of videos, we often get people saying, who says Japanese people have to speak English? You know, you should learn Japanese if you're in Japan. Yes, yes, that's very true. We've never said that Japanese people need to speak English. We've never said that, and we never will say that. We always say that if you're going to live in Japan, you need to speak Japanese to, a, to a, an acceptable level to be able to get around. But there are people who visit Japan for short periods of time for holidays. It's unreasonable to expect that those people speak Japanese well just to come here on holidays. So there's also people who live here long term who want accountants and lawyers and people like that who can speak English because it just makes life easier. So if you're one of those people who wants to tell us that, you know, I went to Japan, I only spoke Japanese, you have our utmost respect and we think that's wonderful and we endeavor to do the same thing ourselves, of course. But this, these videos are simply just showing where is English friendly. So that the point is that there are people who come to Japan who can't speak Japanese and the point is that there are places around Japan that are English friendly. So all we are doing with this playlist and with our directory is connecting the two. We're finding the places in Japan that are English friendly. We're finding the people who want English friendly 
businesses, organisations and places in Japan and we're connecting them up so that those people who are coming to Japan have the opportunity to do this. Because the reality is that there are a lot of people who want to visit Japan. We hear this every day. People leave comments, I'd love to go to Japan, but I can't speak Japanese. And they've heard that it's impossible to get around Japan without Japanese. And the truth is, it is very difficult. If you can't speak Japanese uh, or read Japanese, it's very difficult to get around Japan. That's the truth. So that's another reason why if we show you these places and these English-friendly organisations and, and businesses, then that means that more people can come to Japan if they want to, those who can't speak Japanese. We're just showing you some of the affluence that Yokohama is a really affluent place. There's the money, the Ferrari dealerships and Bentley dealerships and jewellery, lots of jewellery stores and gold stores and it really is a, a prosperous city. You can see a lot of new buildings and probably one of the most prosperous places we've been to in Japan as far as you know success and, and, and money. You can, you can smell the money. You can smell the money in this place. It's incredible. Very interesting city, Yokohama. We were surprised. We weren't anticipating anything. We had no expectations at all. Very impressed with Yokohama. So anyway, there's the English-friendly city for you. We would nominate... Yokohama is the most English-friendly city in Japan. Hope somebody found that useful. More videos coming soon.